Welcome back. I'm Jay. We got Steve behind the camera. This is the Heads Up Show. Thank you so much for joining. This is the channel to watch if you like football helmets. We have about 650 videos of which more than half of them are helmet builds. Uh, we always ask, and I'm going to ask it right here, uh, if you want to see a specific team or a specific designs or any of that kind of stuff, leave your comments below. Go back and do a search on our page to see if we've done, I don't know, a Florida Gators helmet. Yeah, or a Philadelphia Eagles or the Saints or you name it, we've probably done it. Today, Steve, we are giving away, it's the most expensive Speedflex authentic helmet that Riddell makes. Yes. And I'll tell you why. It's because this has a paint job. The face mask is painted. The helmet is painted with a really cool color. It's not quite satin. It's not quite uh, flat or matte. It's definitely not gloss. These are hand painted to those stripes. They're not decal. We're putting on a shock golden dragon visor. We're putting on a custom color Speedflex face mask. We got 3D bumpers and a warning label. And then we are giving it away. This is easily a $900 giveaway. You know, Steve, I'm popping these clips off right here and it just dawned on me we have black Speedflex clips that we just got in. I thought about actually giving them to you, but I wasn't sure how the black would look on the blue. No way, man. Let's do it. Okay, I'll Tell go get them. I'm going to continue talking. Steve, you go find them down in the, in the room where we keep all of the clips and stuff. And I'm going to start um, this process now without Steve. He just left, if, by the way, if you didn't hear the door open. So let's go ahead and put these... Uh, decals on here. We're going to start with the 3D bumpers. I'm going to leave this black black chin strap on here. It's a soft cup um, just because I think the black chin strap looks pretty good. And let's take off this American flag here because we're going to go with a yellow chrome or a gold chrome. Almost kind of looks like it was designed to be that way. Let's put these rear bumpers on here. So we do not supply the 3D bumpers to the University of Michigan. But if there anybody from the team is out there, we had these made as samples, so we could certainly get some sent up to you. Thank you very much, Steve. This, this, these bumpers are gonna look nice. <laughs> oh, I bet. So the, the back bumper is now on. Uh, flag wow. is on, Steve, warning label's on, that's what you missed. The front bumper though, we when we had these made, so we made, had these samples made up, uh, and, and this is just such that huge, big block M, and we made it a little bit thicker, I guess, yeah, yeah. than some of the other bumpers that we do, just eh, because. So let, let's get into uh, telling people how to enter to win. What do you say? How about you do that, Steve? Okay, I'll do that. Go to greengridiron.com, and on the homepage, you'll see a nice big banner with a big picture of this helmet it'll take you right to the contest page. And there's a bunch of ways that you can enter to win and you're allowed to do them all. The winner will be announced January 15th. So there's a little bit of time, be sure to enter and don't be stingy, share this with your friends and you've gotta be a subscriber to this channel. For sure. Yep, that's so it. That, and that's how you win. So we got an interesting thing here. So we got these, um, these black clips in and we got a ton of these, Steve, because I know that these are gonna be super popular you know you want them. If you have a Speedflex helmet right now, you're instantly thinking to yourself, man, I got to cop me a pair yeah, you're right. or set of those. I know. Don't worry. We got them in a few colors and we're getting more colors in too. Yeah, so we're pumped about that. So I'm going to put the visor on this guy first. Yeah, I think this is a good fit because it's a little bit blue. It's a little bit gold well, or yellow or maize, mm -hmm. if you will, Steve. I mean, it was kind of an easy decision. That's why I just did it. Didn't even check with you. No, I, uh, I appreciate that. Mm -hmm. I don't need to use my brain any more than I need to sometimes. And then I grab those Navy unbranded Under Armour visor clips because that matches the paint job pretty damn well. No, yeah, and actually it, mount, it matches the Navy and the bumpers damn near exact. Yeah. And doesn't really match the black, but you got blue in here, you got black in here, so I think that it, uh, I think it'll all work. I really hope whoever wins this appreciates what they're getting because this is quite a giveaway and you know what steve so here's an interesting thing here and this is this is good that we chose this mask because we can do a little bit of a educational thing right so this mask here has these eye guards and the eye guards kind of restrict 
how close in we can put these clips to the center. So we have to kind of pull the mask, or excuse me, pull the visor out a little bit. Then you get a gap in here. So this is what we're gonna do to get around that because the zero G, the G in zero G stands for gap. And it was created specifically to not have a gap. So we're gonna basically flip this, flip that clip over like so, which is gonna give us just a little bit more room to push the front of this visor forward. And sometimes that's all you need. Now, if you didn't want to have the clips in this position, you like to have the larger side up, then you could, in theory, kind of go like this. See how that's doing? Yeah. And put the visor lower. I prefer this specific location. So um, this is kind of how I'm going to do it. Yeah, those clips are great. There really is no wrong. You can put them yeah. pointing up, pointing down. I even did a video last week where I have them pointing sideways on a Vengeance uh, yeah. 2.0. Yeah, that was a good thing. I don't know. They one. look great. That was all man. you, Steve. I wasn't even involved at all. Hey, thanks. We're now quick release tool to kind of give these a couple extra turns to make them nice and tight. Just like that. All right, we'll get our little towel here to clean this guy off. Wow, man, what a beautiful color combination. They already had a pretty cool design, but I gotta say, we made it look a lot better. We like doing things that have never been done before, and I don't think Michigan's ever worn a yellow face mask. And that's what it's all about. I mean, I'm curious to hear from the Michigan fans. What do you guys think about this? Jay, I am telling you, man, this thing is sick. Yeah, I love it. I think this thing came out exactly like I kind of expected and dreamed that it would. Uh, great paint job. I think the mask is, is goes really well with this, but let us know what you think. Do you like this kind of a yellow uh, face mask matching the yellow in the shell, the maize yellow colors? Uh, let us know what you think about this guy. Give us your ideas for future videos. Like, subscribe, click the notification bell for more. Uh, don't forget to enter the contest as many times as you want. Tell your friends, yada, yada, yada. Until next time, Cheers. Cheers.